Today's episode. What is ichthyology? Ichthyology came from two Greek words. Ichthys, meaning fish, and logos, meaning study. It is a branch of zoology, which deals with the study of fish. It also deals with fish biology, ecology, diversity, distribution, and interrelationships of fishes. Aside from that, physiology, fishes' movement patterns, behavior associated with feeding, courtship and spawning, schooling, protection, and other aspects are also dealt by ichthyology. Many scientists work to determine information about fishes. These are some of the scientists, who contributed and made their efforts to revolutionize, what is ichthyology today? The first person known to contribute knowledge in ichthyology was Aristotle. He made observations and differentiated a fish from a whale. During his time, he recognized 117 fish species. Another scientist who worked about fishes was Pierre Boulogne. He published a book on natural history of fishes in 1551. During his time, he classified 110 species according to their anatomical characteristics, such as body shape, and size. John Ray and Francis Willoughby, worked on European fishes. They published Historia Piscium in 1686. They identified 420 species of which 178 are new species. They have arranged these species in a reasonable classification system. Peter Ardity is a Swedish naturalist. He is considered as the father of ichthyology. He reviewed the existing literatures on fishes. He recommended the use of standard measurements and counts, that are still the basis of fish taxonomy today. Ardity built a system of classification for fishes. However, he died before any of his works were published. After his death, Ardity's friend named Carolus Linnaeus, purchased his notes and manuscripts. He edited these materials and issued it in 1738. Linnaeus is known as the father of taxonomy. Georges Cuvier and Wallace Yen, compiled and classified the known fishes. They conducted many detailed studies of fish anatomy, and greatly improved the understanding of fish. Cuvier's book, Histoire naturelle des poissons, provided an accurate work on early history of ichthyology. Louise Agassiz worked on another treatise on the fishes of Brazil in 1829. He also made a series of volumes on fossil fishes which became the foundation for evolutionary studies of fishes. Albert Gunther produced the eight-volume catalogue of the fishes in the British Museum. It is the last time anyone tried single-handedly described the ichthyofauna of the world, species by species. Monroe composed the structure and physiology of fishes explained and compared to that of man and other animals in 1785. It was based on general and detailed works of fish anatomy and physiology. David Starr Jordan is known for Fishes of North and Middle America, a four-volume work co-authored with B. W. Everman. His work on Guide to the Study of Fishes in 1905, became the standard ichthyology text of the early 20th century. Carl Hubbs and Carl Lagerler, published Fishes of the Great Lakes Region, which still the standard reference on taxonomy techniques for fishes. P. Humphrey Greenwood of British Museum, Don Eric Rosen of American Museum of Natural History, and Stanley H. Weitzman of U.S. National Museum of Natural History, are joined with George S. Myers of Stanford University to produce the first modern classification of the majority of present-day fishes, the teleostai. In the 21st century, William Manish Mayer and colleagues, made a new compilation of fish species of the world. This work was made possible using modern computers and communications in 19... Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next Fishy Matters episode. Bye-bye.